Hi everybody. Uh, today at, uh, at the reInvent AWS reInvent conference, Andy Jesse introduced uh, at the Amazon Light Sale, which is a Amazon uh, virtual private server, a managed virtual private server for you. Now, uh, now earlier you used to have all the IAS options where you could uh, start a uh, EC2 instance, you could start a virtual uh, private cloud and stuff like that. Now, uh, in this case, they have came uh, come uh, up with VPS, which is a which is a sort of a managed option for those who don't want to go and configure things on their own. So I'm going to give you a, a first uh, look into how it looks and what options are here. I haven't tested it yet, so this is the first time I actually opened uh, the page and saw light sail. So as you can see, it uh, it is a different uh, window altogether. It's a completely revamped and new look, and it has uh, the resources and snapshots options here. I haven't used it yet, so um, you know I can't see it. Uh, it tells me that snapshots are billed monthly per per gig, uh, and uh, from uh, from what I remember, uh, Andy Jesse did mention that it's five dollars uh, a month. That I think is very economical. So let's see. Let's try to create other resources. Uh, okay, I don't want to do that yet. Let me try to create an instance. Okay, great. Yes. So this is it. Uh, this is it you have options of creating an app uh, creating an application plus an os or creating a base os only okay let me scroll down what does it say it says that uh, okay that's fine you can add a shell script that would run on instance so that's fine uh, you are using the default pair for connecting to your uh, instance okay choose your instance okay, see here choose your instance plan you can have a, a first month free at five dollars a month so five dollars a month and first month is free uh, you get 512 mbs of ram one virtual cpu 20 gig ssd one terabyte of data transfer then there are the other options of 10 20 40 80 per month and at best at 80 you're getting 8 gig ram two virtual cpus 80 gig ssd and a five terabyte data transfer so this translates to 0 0.108 cents an hour and this is 0 0.007 cents an hour okay great uh, right so let me let me actually go and start a base ubuntu image uh, i like to check the uh, okay even if you were to go ahead with the ubuntu a base operating system only you would still have to pay the same amount yes i mean the options also the same so that uh, that doesn't really make any sense to me let me go ahead with wordpress and uh, let me change the uh, the default okay let it be let it be the default key pair can i create a new key from here only oh yes i can so test underscore light sale and generate a key pair uh, download the key pair yes downloaded go ahead wordpress underscore dash light sale I want just one instance okay you can potentially create more than one can I change my zone uh, okay so currently as you can see this option is available uh, only in Virginia I don't think that's true but I don't have any option of changing that either so okay so, so most probably for now it's only uh, available in the US East zone uh, region and then of course in that region you have five different uh, availability zones so let me use one of the availability zones to to create an instance is there anything else that I'm missing no I created uh, I created the key pair and I'm using WordPress okay let me let me go ahead so I have started or started to create an instance mm -hmm. so as we discussed this is uh, uh, the basic option which is five dollars a month and uh, it did mention that it is free for the first month so for this entire month of december because today is first of december so for the entire month of december 
uh, this should be free for me uh, or till the 29th of uh, or 30th of December for sure. So it's pending. Okay. Running. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I come here. It Okay, cool. It is giving me the option. It also tells me what key pair I used to start it. Let me look at the metrics. No data available. The networking. Okay. The snapshot. The history. Can I delete it? Yes. Connect. Uh, okay. Let me just see. Browser. Okay. Try the basic options. I want to see if WordPress uh, admin console comes up. This is slow. I cannot see anything coming up. Okay, let's let's just put it away. Check the other options for now. So connect using SSH. Okay, it. So this is something new. Uh, you didn't have this option as far as the EC2 is concerned. You had to go to your terminal and then um, start uh, do an SSH connection to your uh, account. Out here, it opened a new browser window, a browser terminal console, uh, like uh, a, a Google would do, like a GCP would do. Uh, and I got an error. Let me reconnect. Okay, so it's asking me to wait for a while, uh, while the machine comes up. I try it once again, or then we'll wait for a while. Okay, let's wait for a while. Cool. I think the the same issue would have been here also, uh, that the machine is still coming up. So it's building the various, uh, or installing the various uh, resources that are required to set up a WordPress website. You need, I mean, for sure, you need PHP, you need WordPress, you need... Uh, you need uh, MySQL database. I'm, I'm fairly certain that that's what's happening right now, but for some reason I just can't see that here. So these are the ports that are open. It does mention HTTP. Okay, so you can even configure your firewall from here. So this is, this is cool. This is very, very easy because this is a one-stop shop for everything that you need to do with that particular uh, server that we that we brought up. Everything is here in in one new uh, website that AWS has created, or uh, a new kind of a look that they have given to their uh, to their light sail, which is a VPS a virtual private server uh, offering that as we mentioned was announced today uh, at the uh, reinvent for 2016 okay let's try to connect again give it a second oh my god uh -huh. so let's go here Okay. Oh yes, we are up and running. Absolutely. Yes. So fair enough. Uh, I I did show you how it's working. It is working. It's working perfectly fine. And you can reboot it from here. You can stop it from here. You can connect using SSH from here, uh, and it would open a new browser window for you to or it would automatically use your keys to connect i would presume and it did it did okay and uh, mm -hmm. so as you can see uh, you know it, it this is cool this is like really cool so let's see 
it will have all the folders here that you require for WordPress yes okay great this is this is this is uh, really cool and uh, and I think that uh, uh, this option would be very 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 helpful for those who don't want to or who don't know how to manage uh, the infrastructure who don't who don't know a lot about let's say your web servers how a database works where to add mysql how to add mysql how to get wordpress to work with mysql and stuff like that and uh, and i'm sure in the coming days this this would be a very very popular service from uh, from aws so i'm gonna let me let me just try to delete the instance here let's see what happens okay phenomenal i mean this is cool this is really cool okay so it, it gives me option of going back to my console i can check my billing from here and uh, i can go to customer support from here so this is ease of access ease of access cool blazing fast and uh, and i think a, a very good new service from aws so thank you everybody for for uh, listening to me and i'll come back again with a uh, a detailed uh, overview of uh, light sale and also the other services uh, that uh, Andy Jesse announced today in the coming weeks. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye.